Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to jump straight into this tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this really gorgeous look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. So first of all, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with a little bit of the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and then for a transitional shade, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and buffing this into the crease. And this is totally optional. You do not need to do this if you don't want to, but I like to add a transitional shade before I do any dramatic eyeshadow looks. So now going into the palette, I'm going to be picking this shade here called Burn Orange and I'm going to be putting that into the crease and really blending that through. So I'm going to be doing that in windscreen wiper motions and also circular motions backwards and forth just to really create a nice blown out look so that when we go and apply further eyeshadows you've got a little bit of the orange peeking through. So now going back into the palette, I'm going to be picking up the colour here called Venetian Red and I'm going to be focusing this onto the outer half of the eye and I'm also going to be blending a little bit of that colour onto the lid as well and I'm going to be using my MAC 217 Studios and once that's packed on, I'm just going to be going back in with my blending brush by Zoeva and just blending that colour through just to make sure it's really nice and soft. So now going back into the palette, I'm going to be picking up this shade here called Cypress Umber and I'm going to be focusing this on the outer half of the eye again, but mainly on the outer V. So I'm just going to be packing that colour on initially and then going in with my blending brush and blending all those colours in together. So this was a little bit of a process because I did go in and add a little bit more burnt orange and a little bit more of the Venetian red until I got the desired look that I wanted. So again, this is a little bit of a process, but bear with it and it will just be absolutely beautiful once you've done it. So now to tidy up the lid space, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of soft ochre paint pot again and I'm just going to be kind of cutting the crease on the inner part of the eye and really tidying up that lid space before we apply any further eyeshadows. So now picking up the colour here called Primavera, it's one of my favourite eyeshadows in this palette, it's really vibrant, it's just a gorgeous shimmery sort of champagne highlighting shade, so it's going to look absolutely beautiful on the inner part of the lid. So that is where I'm going to focus most of this product and I did pick up a little bit of the Venetian Red again and just blending those two colours together in the middle part of the lid just so they blend really nice and seamlessly into one another. So now I'm just going to be tidying up the outer corners with a little bit of concealer and just making sure the look is a little bit more put together. So now taking a little bit of MAC Black Track, I'm going to be creating a nice winged eyeliner and I did go quite intense with this today because I really wanted it to be nice and dramatic but you guys can do this or you can just leave it without any eyeliner and it'd still look beautiful. I absolutely love all these eyeshadows and I am thinking about doing another tutorial using this palette because there's so many looks that you can create with it so if you guys are interested in seeing that then give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do another tutorial. So now moving on to mascara, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and for lashes I'm going to be using these ones by Eyelior in the number 157. They are really nice and dramatic and they're really nice and wispy as well so they're going to look absolutely beautiful with this eyeshadow look. So now moving on to the face, I'm going to be taking two primers today. The first one is by Too Faced and this is the Hangover X Primer. One of my favourite primers, it's just really hydrating on the skin. And I'm going to be trying out for the first time this Becca Backlighting Primer. I absolutely loved it when I was applying it, it's got a really nice glow to it. So I did want to give it a go. And then I'm going to be using my two favourite foundations at the moment. And this is like my go-to foundation routine. I absolutely love this if you want a really nice sort of flawless application of makeup. and well, I'm going to be focusing the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation on the centre part of my face where I get the most discoloration and then I'm going to add a little bit of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk to my beauty blender and just blend that through onto the skin and it just creates a really nice flawless look and it just gives a really nice glow to the skin as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then moving on to concealer, I'm going to be taking this one by Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD Concealer. And I'm just going to be blending that through underneath the eyes. And then, as always, I'm going to be baking with a little bit of the L'Oreal Mercier Translucent Powder. And while that is baking, I do leave that on for about 5 to 10 minutes while I go in and do my eyebrows. And then I'll just wipe away some of the excess. So now to set the rest of my face makeup, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the MAC Studio Fix Powder and I'm just going to be setting my foundation to make sure it stays in place all day long. So now moving on to contouring, I'm going to be taking this Too Faced Milk Chocolate Sole Bronzer and with my MAC Small Duo Fiber Brush, I'm just going to be placing that onto the hollows of my cheekbones, my jawline and sides of my forehead and I absolutely love using this brush for contouring, it just creates a really nice soft definition to the face without being too harsh and I am going to be contouring my nose as well. If you guys have missed my nose contouring routine video, then I'll leave it linked here if you want to go and check it out. So now moving on to blusher, I'm going to be taking this one by 17 in the colour Plum Puff. And this is really, really pigmented, so it does look a little bit crazy when you first apply it. But once you blend it out, it is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favourite brushes at the moment. And then after that, I'm going to be moving on to the lower lash line and just completing the eye makeup. So I took a little bit of the burnt orange shade again and I really started buffing this into the lower lash line. I really wanted this to be nice and smoked out today, so I did go quite far down with it. So now going back into the palette and picking up this colour called Love Letter, which is a really nice, vibrant pink. I'm going to be using my MAC Dome Shape brush and I'm just going to be applying that onto the lower lash line as well. And I'm going to be blending that through into the burnt orange shade. So I did just want to add some black into the lower lash line as well, so I took my NARS eyeliner in the colour Via Benito and I just put this in the waterline and also the lower lash line and really smudged that out. So now moving on to mascara for my bottom lashes, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic which is one of my favourite bottom lash mascaras, I absolutely love it, just really nice and separating and lengthening. So now moving on to highlighters, I'm going to be taking these two here, this one is Mimosa and Crushed Pearl and this is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting palette, I'm just going to be mixing them together, putting them on the high points of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow and also the high point of my nose as well. And now to complete off the look, I'm going to be taking my lip liner in the colour Stripped Down by MAC and I'm just going to be lining my lips and for lipstick today I'm going to be taking MAC's Honey Love and also Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the colour Sugar and I didn't want anything too intense for this lip look because the eyes are really nice and vibrant and I didn't want to take away any of the focus from the eyes so I just kept the lips really nice and nude. So after that you're complete with this look and I really really hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button and it will notify you for all of my upcoming videos and I will see you all again soon. Bye! But I pretty much wore, oh god, can you see all my mess in my room? <laughs> How embarrassing. But I absolutely love these sunglasses. Like, I just feel like they are just like perfect for holiday. And I've been wearing them here as well when it's been nice and sunny out. They have got like the gold trim on the side and kind of like the double gold.